So in Ancestors, you have to explore, expand, and evolve. So you have to explore your environment, expand your clan, to eventually evolve into a new species. You're not one ancestors, you're not the hero of the entire human race, you're a clan. It's about a clan, a family. That lineage needs to go through time and eventually evolve into another species. So you can play as a baby, right? You can play as an adult, you can play as an elder. You're controlling one character inside a clan. And your clan is what needs to survive. So you need to find what we call outsiders. So there is some other clan members that are lost, if you will, and you need to help them out. So if they're like uh, hungry, thirsty, if they have like, if they're poisoned, you can bring them the, the, uh, the antidote. And they'll say, oh, thank you, buddy. I'm joining your clan. You can mate, have babies, and continue the species. At first, the jungle is your known and secure and paradise environment. At the same time, you cannot stay there for too long because resources will deplete, your clan will eat, and eventually there won't be anything to eat. And since you need to eat, drink, and sleep in order to survive, eventually your clan member will die out of starvation if you don't move. And so I'll go back, and then we'll explore together as a clan. Fear is really an important feature of the game. We feel fear as soon as you're a baby and you're far away from your clan. But also when you go into unknown territories, and this is done through a system of dopamine. If you have enough dopamine, you can go through your fear. Now I got two choices. I can go back, stay in my little paradise. Or I can say, no, let's be curious and see what's on the other side of this. And eventually, the more knowledge I know about this area, eventually I'll be able to go further and claim this territory and conquer my fear.